Hey guys, really exciting day here today as I get to test drive the all new Mercedes AMG E63S 4Matic Plus car. Uh, in the background over there, you can also see my Mercedes AMG GT3 DTM car. And straight away, you can see the similarities between the front end, the aggressive, sporty look that both cars have. And uh, I think this is really cool. Okay, so here we are in the driver's seat, in the cockpit of the car. And one of the things I look forward to most when getting into a new car is the steering wheel. And as you can see, it's a wonderful work of art here. Really good grip on the wheel, which is, you know, perfect for a track day experience or even a relaxed Sunday lazy drive. But the really cool thing about this car is these road trees here, which adjust uh, the mode you want to be in. So you got your race mode, your sport plus, your sport, comfort, individual and slippery. So, you know, whatever you feel like doing that day, you got you got different modes and uh, different helps from the car to help you enjoy the day uh, you need to the most. You've also got more settings uh, here which you can control like the traction control to put off, your exhausts, automatic stop start, your AMG dynamic settings as well and your suspension. So everything in this car is uh, easily adjustable uh, according to what you need and when you need it and all can be done on the go while driving which is really cool. All right, so now let's crack the bonnet open and take a look at uh, the heart of the beast. Okay, so here we have it. Four liter V8 bi-turbo engine, 612 horsepower to play with, with a zero to 100 in 3.4 seconds. Okay, let's have a ride in the beast. The really cool thing uh, about this car is you can also adjust the controls on the side of the seat here to make it more narrow and also uh, by your leg over here so this is really helpful on a track day, for example, when you want to take the car for a little spin uh, to have some more cushioning uh, on the sides. And of course, if you want to relax, you can let it open and you got some breathing space. So this was a really cool feature. Straight away, straight away it feels really, really good. Very good feedback from the steering wheel. It's very direct, a lot like in the race car, actually. Okay, so I'm raring to check out the power in this thing. So let's say we take it to the German Autobahn now and see what we can do. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Take me to the A1. All right. Okay, so we've made our way into the A1 Autobahn without speed limits. And so we're gonna change now to sport mode for race mode actually for maximum performance. And we're gonna put it into manual so I can control the gear shifts. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. Oh my God, a lot of power. We are at 250 kilometers an hour already, 260 now, 270, 280, 7 to 90. Can we hit 300 before we reach? 300. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so another cool feature with the car is uh, when you're cruising in comfort mode, you get cylinder deactivation, which means the engine runs on four cylinders instead of eight. And this really helped with uh, fuel consumption. So you can save a lot of fuel by, by this feature. And again, it proves in a way how it's an ideal car for both sports and for luxury driving, and also can be very uh, good on your consumption as well.